This episode is brought to you by CruiseLine.com, where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from verified everyday cruisers. Be sure to check them out using the link in the comments below. Hey, cruisers. Welcome to cabin A732 on Grand Princess. This is an inside cabin aft on, I don't know, I think we might be on the port side this time. So we are going to show you around this cabin and I wanted to let you know right away that if you notice that the room seems a little more cluttery and a little more full, that's because it is. I don't think we've ever done a how to organize my cabin video in an inside cabin before. And to complicate things even more, there are three of us in this little teeny tiny inside cabin and we're on a 10 night cruise and it's a cold weather cruise to Alaska. So we have a lot of stuff. Things are not as beautiful, neat, organized, and fancy as they normally are on a tropical seven night cruise. So one of the first things that that necessitated because we have so little storage space in this room is the use of our bedside tables. I'm gonna go ahead and walk you over there right now. So we have the room set up with twin beds because of the fact that we have a, a third person sailing with us which is our little son and we had to have an upper so they won't actually allow you to have the beds together when you have the uppers in use on these on these sailings so we're actually kind of glad because it gives us more room in the center of the cabin to move around but as I was saying we had to use these bedside tables so on this side my husband's side we have this nice little storage area right here which is his iPad and then we actually have I take it back this is my stuff so I have my pajamas and my sleep mask and some headphones there and down here i actually ended up having to put all of my socks and undergarments here because i ran out of space now in this little drawer this is my husband's side actually he's got his kindle pajamas some tech equipment that we ran out of room for and over here we're keeping all of our paperwork from this cruise so as you can see we have all of our newsletters and all the paperwork that they leave on our bed or outside the door so good use of those drawers this time now we're going to come over here and check out this little vanity area so um, one thing we noticed is that this is actually a huge vanity and desk. We're really happy with it, but as usual, you only have the two outlets right here. So we've stacked our phone on top of the handy dandy cruise user's manual, combination room service menu, everything you'd ever need. And we've got our little usual charging station here. As you can see, this is a USB charging hub. This is my son's charger for a Samsung and chargers for our Apple watches and all kinds of camera equipment that we have to charge. But we got these short little cables before this cruise so that we didn't have quite as many wires everywhere. Over here, we actually have kind of our little beverage station. So I have um, <clears throat> a little plastic uh, BPA-free bottle that we're gonna take on shore with us for water for my son. And we'll attach this to a backpack with a lanyard. Or not a lanyard, did I just say that? A carabiner, I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> I guess you could use a lanyard, but I'm talking about a carabiner. So that's why it has that little clip. This is the thermos that my husband uses in the morning for coffee. And this is the cup that you get if you have the soda package here so this is kind of nice it's a really nice cup my husband's been using it every day for his diet cokes and things like that now i'm going to show you the inside of the refrigerator we had our steward take all of the waters out that were there and we filled it with our own things which in this case is basically just Lacroix and water and as you can see there's also a bucket of ice that we keep in there that our steward refills that's pretty much it so we have only three drawers for the vanity. So I'm gonna give you a quick overview of how I'm storing things this time. This will actually look very familiar from our past cabin organization videos. This is my makeup drawer essentially. So this is where I keep all my makeup, my false lashes, and unfortunately cough drops because I've been dealing with allergies or a cold or something on this cruise. Down here is my nighttime purse and my curling irons, plural, because I accidentally popped an extra curling iron into my suitcase this time. Oops, didn't need to do that. And down here, we have our medicine pack that we showed you in our packing videos. I have my laundry pack that I also showed you in our packing videos and pretty much a lifetime supply of hand sanitizing wipes. Now I'm going to shimmy over to this area right here and show you how we're using these little ledges. These come in really handy on Princess and I always love these exposed little drawers, not drawers, but shelves. This one here is where my husband's storing all of his camera equipment. So we have a GoPro chesty, tripods, all kinds of things like that, big charging things. This is where I'm storing my LaCroix that is not in the refrigerator and a spare shore day bag. And down here, as you can see, it is all about the sunglasses and back here are binoculars. 
All right, now we're gonna go take a look at the closet. You guys, this is the smallest closet I've ever seen on a cruise ship. It, the hanging area is so tiny, so we're gonna get to that last. But first I'm gonna show you the safe and the shelves, it's so weird. We had so little space on this cruise that we actually had to leave our stuff in packing cubes. Check this out. Not a lot of shelves for three people. So we'll start at the top. This is all of my husband's clothes that we ended up having to leave in packing cubes. And of course our safe, which is a combination operated. And we ended up throwing some stuff on top of that area. All of my son's pants and his packing cube here. And then my packing cubes and down here to my son's. And then I actually, because the closet's so small, you guys, I have all my shoes over here. It's so weird. So before we get to the bathroom, I also want to show you guys the hanging space. Super small. This is the smallest hanging space I have ever seen on a cruise, but it's fine. It's just a matter of kind of modifying a little bit. Like normally we would have two pop-up hampers in a closet like this, but we only have room for one. Normally we'd have all of our shoes over here. No such luck. My husband's size 11 feet. Pretty much only his shoes and my son's are over here. So as you can see, we have the closet divided off into three sections. We have my stuff on the right and then my son is in the middle and then my husband is over here. Up here is nothing too exciting. This is just the life jackets, a bunch of camera equipment and my husband and son's backpacks. And now we'll move down to the floor and you can see we have our ha uh, hamper. I actually put my husband's slippers in the side of the hamper to save space. And then my husband's shoes are over here. And then my son's shoes are tucked back here on the little ledge that you can't even see. So now let's take a look at the little bathroom. So the restroom is located right by the entrance here and sort of behind this little storage door. It makes, it, it makes it a little bit tricky when you're getting ready to have one person kind of getting ready in here and then the other person going in and out of the bathroom, but it's an inside cabin, so that's pretty much what you'd expect. There is a mirror on the back of this door here for um, a full length mirror for getting ready, which is awesome. I really enjoyed that. That's not necessarily something that you get on every cruise. So come on in. I'm gonna actually show you the shower first. We'll kind of get that over with. Standard shower, totally fine for my husband who's exactly six feet tall. As you can see, we have our soap and shampoos here and they do include some shampoo conditioner combo and a shower gel here. And because we're keeping it real on Cruise Tips TV, those are my sons in my swimsuits drying on the line <laughs> from our hot tub experience yesterday. Okay, so come on in, Mr. Cameraman. So this is how we're making use of our shelves on this cruise. We have just random little sample sizes and medication up here, deodorant, sunscreen. Down here, I've got all my face creams and my body creams, some face wash and some eye makeup remover pads, deodorant, and stuff you can just basically kind of see for yourself. So shaving cream, self tanner, my husband's razor, and our toothbrushes and my poor toothpaste you had to run in with a Sharpie pen. And of course, we always pack our own hand soap on a cruise. So we keep this here on a longer cruise. We really just like this over these sticky little things. You know how they get kind of gross. So you guys have heard me say it before. So on the back of the bathroom door, there's these two little loops here that you can use to hang your towels or your bathrobes, whatever you want. I usually put my bathrobe up here when I get out of the shower, but this is where we're keeping our hanging toiletry bag. This is exactly the same one you've seen in our other videos. We've got a little sewing kit, nail clippers, earplugs, tweezers, nail file, things like that. We have some Clorox wipes, extra chapstick, and all kinds of little packets of supplies here. And down here, my razor, oops, door's moving a little bit. The ship is moving a lot, you guys. And um, floss, things like that. Now there's one area that I wanted to show you before we sign off on our little cabin organization video, and that's our little grab and go station that we um, always have by the, um, by the exit of our door on every type of cruise, no matter what, as you guys know, the walls on a ship are magnetic. So we've bought these super strong magnetic hooks that are really strong, and I do mean really strong. And I have a little grab and go bag right here that I can take with me to breakfast or whatever. I can throw a bottle of water, my cell phone, whatever I need in here. And then because this is a colder cruise, I've been putting my shawl or wrap on one of the hooks. And this is where we're keeping all of our room cards and lanyards, as you can see right here. We also have a whiteboard. <laughs> that we purchased for this cruise, but it's not working very well. And again, keeping it real at Cruise Tips TV, it got totally dinged up and banged up in my suitcase and the eraser doesn't work. So this is a dollar store fail, but that's okay. You never really know. Also wanted to draw your attention to this little schedule that we put together. You guys have t heard me talk before about our Walmart, uh, wall mount. I just can't talk today. My wall mount itinerary that I like to make for every cruise, what we do 
is keep the format the same. We put the date, the destination, our activities, and kind of the timeline here and fill it all in because as you know, when you're on a cruise, you kind of lose track of the days and things. So this shows us what we're doing that day, where we are, what our plans are for that day, and what time sail away is, what time we get into port. So it's kind of handy. And we also um, bring along a supply of magnets. These aren't my strongest magnets. As you can see, they're kind of they're kind of falling. I think I need to invest in some new ones on this cruise because it's not working out very well. But that's pretty much it. This is um, definitely a cozy cabin. It's not too small for our party of three. We are used to it. There is one more thing I wanted to show you because we're in Alaska and that is this cool map that we have on the wall. This little map has been with us to Alaska probably about, mm, I would say this map has been with us four or five times. So it's getting a little bit weary, but this is something that we can kind of track our progress with along the way. So it starts down here with British Columbia and works its way up through all the ports. So we have Ketchikan here, all the way up to some scenic time in Tracy Arm, and then Juneau, and lastly Skagway, and then making our way back down and it has some really fun facts. So this is a great thing to do if you're going to Alaska. And we'll link to the book that this map is included with in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching our organization video. Hope you liked it. Please be sure to leave your cabin organization tips in the comments below. We would love to hear what you have uh, up your sleeve for tips and tricks for sailing in an inside cabin. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye. And I'll show you around the bathroom. Be careful on the step there. <laughs> it's a little tricky.